now it's time to go back in time. Oh. I think I got I got this one. You got this one? Don't tell me that's Bryce Harper. No, uh, that's your first buzzer. You kind of gave me a, Give him the buzzer, Finn. Yeah. Did, was that my that was my final answer? I just said oh, don't tell me that. Okay, all right. But, oh, I would have never got it. Trey I, Mancini. We just went back in time. <laughs> that's when we were at the World Series playing guest that Sparky. I knew off the hop it was our current guest, Trey Mancini. But Trey, if there's anybody that Uncle Kevin's going to confuse you with, I, I, number three, he ain't a bad one. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm honored that that was the guess right there. But um, as you can see in that picture, that's why I ended up, you know, stuck at first base my whole life was, uh, you know, the size I, I possessed at that point. <laughs> Dude, that's so good though. It did that. Was, it did get me. I would have never guessed you. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. So that was good stuff. I, I, another thing that's good stuff is that now you're a Cub. So congratulations on that. I got released by the Cubs in 2010. So anything you need to know about this organization, I'm here for you. All right. All right. Sounds good. I'm all ears. Uh, no, I did want to say video. though. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a bad, it, this is a bad game. It's a 38-year-old man, Trey. It's not good, and uh, it made sense why they released me. But I will tell you this. You made a play in the World Series that was probably one of the better in-game plays at that time right here. And I probably would have stuck around if I could have fielded like this, but this was remarkable. Talk to me about this real wow. quick. Yeah, at that point, um, you know, I, I went into the game unexpectedly. Um, Yuli had been just tearing it up in the postseason and, and um, was our hottest hitter, maybe with the exception of Jeremy uh, at that point. But um, he went down in the rundown. And, and when you're not starting in a game, especially a game of that magnitude, you know you got to be ready the whole time. Um, you know, everything that you do, all your all your preparation, um, that you've ever done, you know, if, if you end up going into this game, it's going to be, um, you know, the biggest moment of your baseball career. So I knew that and, um, you know, had a tough at bat right before that. And I knew I needed to wash it and, and needed um, to go out there and play, play good defense. And, um, you know, there is good communication between Joe Espada and I before that play to stay right on the line there. Um, you know, you want to prevent oh. any extra it's from happening because with Segura on first base, he's going to score right there. So we needed, we knew I needed to guard the line, um, you know, because if I was any further off than that, I don't, I don't think I'd make that play. Um, you know, he, he hit the ball quite well, Schwarber did. So, um, you know, luckily I didn't get too far off and made the play. <laughs> yes. Uh, God. That, I mean, that one will be replayed over and over, not just in the Mancini household and family, but in Houston as well, winning that World Series. But you know what, Trey, what's, what's special about the end of your 2022, that wasn't the only ring that you won because you and Sarah tied the knot. So I know Kevin yes. is a little bit a little bit bitter that his invite was apparently lost in the mail. But our question for for you <laughs> is what what is what is the memory at the forefront of your mind? It's definitely not going to be the flower bill. So, but what are you going to take with you from your special day with Sarah? Oh my gosh! Just having that collection of people um, all together. You know, there there were so many important people in our lives, um, in each Sarah in my life. Um, and for that group of people to, to travel to the Bahamas and all be there together, it was just so special. And everything went perfectly, exactly how we envisioned it. Um, before a wedding, everybody says, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, little things could go wrong. Um, and there were like a couple, maybe even minor hiccups, like our uh, when we cut the cake, the cake like toppled over. Um, you know, just a couple <laughs> little things happened, but we just laughed. It. it was really funny. So um, you have to appreciate every part of the day, even the ones that don't go perfectly. So um, it, it was just amazing. Perfect. All right, Tracy, but there's always one little racket. There's always one little <laughs> racket in the billing aspect of a wedding. And mine was yeah. the flower arrangements. Like I look around, every table had these like $85 flower arrangements that nobody cares about, to be honest with you. But the bill is like, what? We could have done without 5,000 worth of carnations and roses. What was the one racket you had in your opinion? Not that it was a bad thing, but like, you're like, eh. I'd say the flowers are up there. You're, you're spot on about that. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> Especially, I feel like after COVID, wedding prices just shot up even more. Um, yes, so it, it's it's a pretty penny. I'm not gonna lie, but what I was very passionate about and and was completely worth it in my opinion was the band. 
that we got, they were absolutely incredible. Uh, they just, you know, a good band makes it, I think. And um, that was the one big thing I was adamant about. So I'm, I'm really happy it worked out, but um, yeah, definitely not cheap. Uh, no, no question. The, we are just so thrilled for, for you and Sarah and your family. You could celebrate that between us. And don't worry, Trey, we won't tell anybody. Weddings are a scam. Okay, let's just put it out on the table for everybody. Uh, so just, just mind, mind your wallets, everybody. Uh, we do want to throw it back, Trey, because we saw you do an interview on Marquee the other day, a meeting with the media in Chicago, and you brought up your first experience at the Friendly Confines was back in 04, and you were trying to impersonate one of Kevin's yes. future teammates, that being Matt Clement. I mean, your show beard looks great now. Back then, you needed some help, and it was, uh, what was that, some tape? What is that? Yeah, it, uh, so they had the giveaway at the games. I don't know, if, I think they must have handed it in at the gates um, when everybody went in, but I remember so many people wearing um, the Macklemont goatee, um, you know, I was I was pumped to put it on, you know, get a taste of what facial hair would be like. So, um, yeah, that was my first experience at Wrigley. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. I had not been to um, too many other parks besides Tropicana Field at that point. So, um, you know, it really uh, opened my eyes to like the Major League Baseball experience and it was just incredible. So cool. Um, now, boys. another cool teammate you're going to be playing with, back then, obviously, Matt Clement, you were trying to do the goatee, but you got Ian Happ. Now, I just got done playing in Orlando in an event, the Grand Hilton Vacations for the LPGA, and Ian Happ and I were paired up the last day. So two things. You're going to have to get your golf game really tight if you're going to go golf with Ian Happ in spring training, number one, and number two, coffee. He's got a coffee th company. <laughs> he's got stuff going. Uh, he's a very clean, beautiful man in uniform. He's a beautiful man outside of uniform. So coffee and golf, but that's yes. only my tip I'm going to give you. If you're going to play with Hap, get some strokes because this guy's got to move to the golf ball. Are you a golfer? Uh, the golf game is not tight whatsoever for me. It's, it's quite the opposite. I'm a horrific golfer. Um, I'm actually much better left-handed than right-handed because uh, I have no training on the left side. I think the baseball swing does not translate. No at all. Um, so, I, uh, you know, I, I, after I retire from baseball, I'm going to heavily invest in golf and try to get good, but it's a yes. lost ball right now. Coffee, on the other hand, I absolutely love. So I'm looking forward to talking to Ian about that. Hey, well, next time, next time we get on the course, I'm a lefty. We can share clubs because with no training, yeah, you could come on the left side and have some fun. Hey, before we let you go, I, Trey, you're one of everybody's favorites in the big leagues, right? And the, you don't, have, you don't have to toot your own horn. We'll do it for you. But everybody appreciates your journey and your spirit through that, right? And what you've gone through overcoming cancer, comeback player of the year, a couple seasons back. And now one of your brethren in the big leagues is going through a different but similar battle in our friend Liam Hendricks. And you were able to connect with Liam. I know Liam's starting his treatment up. And we're, of course, thinking of him and Christy and sending our prayers to him. But you know, what was what was something that you wanted to share? Why was it on your heart to reach out to him? Just because I know what he's been through. Um, you know, I texted him and I, I told him, um, you know, I know how many people are going to reach out to you. And it's, it's absolutely incredible how many people reach out. Um, but for me, when I was going through it, it always helped to talk to others who had been through something very similar before. That was always um, what helped me the most, you know, to talk to people that had been through it, gotten through it, and are back to their lives. Um, you know, it, it drives you whenever you're going through it. and and when you're having a lot of days where you feel sick and not like yourself. So I wanted to let him know that I was here and I have any pointers that, that um, you know, he might need throughout throughout um, chemotherapy. But um, I actually talked to him a little bit the last couple of days and it sounds like he's he's handling it really well, um, you know, and he's, he's really attacking these treatments. And you have to get used to the routine of the treatments too and he's definitely done that. Hey, well, Trey, we, we appreciate you for the person you are and, of course, for the time that you always offer us here on IP and on the network. Again, congratulations to you and Sarah on finally having your beautiful day in December. And we can't wait to see you get your other ring, the one earned in October at the start of this upcoming year, Matt. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you having me on.